Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to tackle about the homeroom guidance of grade 6 for quarter 3, module 8, entitled Making Connections. Introductory Message For the learner, this module is designed for learners like you to help you identify various personal and social issues that involve oneself and others. You will also be able to explain the importance of seeking help in solving problems using your knowledge and skills concerning your family, school. This module has six interactive activities for you to follow. Namely, let's try this which will help you get ready to learn, let's explore this, which will guide you towards what you need to learn, keep in mind, which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand. You can do it which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities, what I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning. Share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions, and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow and enjoy every task that you are asked to do. Have fun. Stay safe and healthy. Learning Objectives After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Identify various personal and social issues that involve oneself and others. 2. Explain the importance of seeking and rendering help in solving problems. And 3. Evaluate your strengths and abilities in solving problems concerning the family, school, and community. And you are given a time allotment of 120 minutes for week 4 and 5. The materials needed are Paper, pencil, coloring materials. Note, all your answers in the activity shall be written on a clean sheet of paper. For the introduction of this module, every day we encounter new challenges. Oftentimes we struggle with different problems in terms of school work, relationship with our family, friends, and in the community where we live in. These problems make us uncomfortable and cannot focus on the other aspects of our life. In this module, you will be able to learn the skills to solve these problems and will teach you to seek help from others in solving issues that concerns both of you. For your let's try this activity, number 1. On a clean sheet of paper, write three problems or concerns that you are facing right now. Rank them according to its importance from the most important to least important. Personal or family problem. Example. I have difficulty in answering some activities in my modules. And on the right side of the column you are going to put your ranking. Two, write three problems or concerns of the community where you live in. Rank them according to its importance from the most important to least important. Community problem. Example. I am afraid I might get infected with COVID I felt all alone. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now proceed on answering this two processing questions. Number one. What did you consider when identifying your problems or concerns? And 2. How are you going to address the problems or concerns you have identified? For your another activity. Which is the let's try this. Look at your answers in activity 1. Write your identified problem which you ranked 1 or your most important problem. Ask your parents or guardian and other members of the family to help you find solutions to your identified problem. Problem 1, personal or family problem, then write your three possible solutions. Problem 2, community problem, then write your three possible solutions. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now proceed on answering this three processing questions. Number 1. Were you able to easily identify the solutions to the problems you have listed? Why or why not? 2. How did you feel as your family members helped you find solutions to your identified problems? And 3. Who do you think are the people who will help you solve your identified problems? 
Now, you must keep this in mind, life itself is all about solving problems. All of us have our own daily struggles, which help us learn from our experiences, make us grow and become wiser and stronger and shape us to be the better version of ourselves. Family and community problems can also affect us. Thus, it is important that we try to solve these problems because in the long run it will affect us as an individual. Once you have identified your problem, you need to find ways on how these can be resolved. Problems become more difficult if you think that you have tried everything and all the strategies, but the problem remains unsolved. Remember, there are people whom you can ask help to find the best possible solution to your problems, your parents or guardian, other family members, friends, and significant adults like your teachers. To further improve your skills in problem solving, here are the steps for effective problem solving. Step 1. Identify the problem, focus on the what the problem is. Just like what you did in your activity 1, let's try this, make a list of these problems and rank which needs to be resolved immediately. Step 2. Ask help, there are people who will help you to identify possible solutions to a given problem. Parents and other family members, friends, teachers, and an adult could be one. Step 3. Assess alternatives, weigh the positive effects and negative consequences that each solution would bring. Also, consider the alternatives that could be beneficial to you and others. Step 4. Choose the best solution, there is no perfect solution to a problem, but you have the power to choose the best from among the solutions you have thought of. Think about what means more to you, which solution can highlight the positive effects that matter the most to you and to other people. Step 5. Decide, don't worry about failure. In this phase, concentrate on the journey that will lead you to resolve the problem. Step 6. Evaluate, it's time to evaluate your success. If you were successful, congratulations. If not, no worries. Maybe you didn't quite choose the right solution, or the situation changed. You have learned something. Take this newfound knowledge, return to the beginning steps, and try again. Enjoy the journey of learning and solving problems. Through this, you will learn to listen and communicate to the needs of the people around you. You will also become more resilient, creative, and imaginative, which are vital skills in your personal and professional life. For your You Can Do It activity you are going to make a slogan or poster to show your active role as a learner in the fight against the coronavirus in support of the Department of Health's program Beta Solution SA COVID-19 and or other community problems. To test what you have learned in this module, you are now going to answer the What I Have Learned activity. Think of a situation and use the following steps to practice your problem-solving skills. Step 1. Identify the problem. Step 2. Ask help, to whom you will seek for help. Step 3. Assess alternatives. Step 4. Choose the solution. Step 5. Decide. Step 6. Evaluate. And lastly, you are now going to share your thoughts and feelings. On a sheet of paper, answer the following questions. Number 1. What have you learned in this lesson? 2. To whom would you ask for help when you encounter problems? Why? 3. How do you feel when seeking help from others? And 4. What are the strengths, skills, and abilities you will be able to develop when you use the steps in problem solving?